What's up everybody, it's Keegan from the Kentucky Welding Institute. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over what a pipe fitter is and what that means to you as a welder in today's industry. So let's get into it. What is a fitter? A fitter is somebody who primarily focuses on the fitment of pipe that goes into systems and different places in plants and facilities, okay? So what I mean is, when a plant or facility needs to fix their piping and things like that, um, structures, um, vessels, just anything to do with piping and getting products from one point to another, the pipe fitters are responsible for knowing how to use trigonometry and math to put a new piece of pipe in that goes from point A to point B. So the fitter is going to make cuts and the welder is going to weld. And it's a two person team and you guys are going to work together to put the new piping in place and make money in the process, make the company's money, everybody's happy, okay? So that's basically what a fitter does is they help the welders get the new piping systems into place. You as a welder, you're going to be welding this pipe. Now, you may be asking yourself, Keegan, what's a good fitter and what's a bad fitter? Because I'm sure you've had bad fits and good fits. And yes, I have. I have welded for very good fitters that made my job way easier than it needed to be. I've also welded for fitters who made my life a living torture and it was miserable. But the bad fitters make you a really good welder. So let's get into what's a good fitter and what's a bad fitter. A good fitter is someone who knows how to use the appropriate math and takeoffs to get from point A to point B in a pipe rack making a system, okay? The good fitter is gonna know how to cut the pipe straight, prep it, the good fitter is gonna know how to fix systems and fix problems and know exactly what to do each time something comes up and they're gonna be able to do it really quick. A bad fitter is somebody who is not gonna have spent a lot of time developing their craft and trying to get better at it, okay? A lot of the times you'll go on jobs and you'll see fitters that just kinda got by. They just squeeze through the cracks and they're just trying to suck the company from money and those guys are the ones that are horrible to weld for because you know their fits are going to be bad, you know their measurements are going to be off, and you're going to be the welder who welds it, and then you're going to be the one that gets screamed at, okay? So the worst thing is welding for bad fitters who didn't take time to get good at their craft. Now, these bad fitters are going to make really bad fits for you, and you're going to have a hard time welding them, but it's going to make you better. That's the only positive about a bad fitter. So you're going to have good fitters, you're going to have bad fitters. Now, once you get in the industry, you can kind of gravitate towards companies and fitters who do good work. I don't work for crappy companies anymore and I don't weld for bad fitters, okay? If there's a bad fitter fitting for me, I'm not gonna weld for them. Um, but I've had to get to the certain point where I had authority to do that in my craft. So, good fitters and bad fitters, they're out there. You're gonna get both of them. Once you get to a certain point in time, you'll be able to pick and choose um, the companies that do better than the bad companies who hire horrible fitters all the time just because they're available, all right? So hopefully that makes sense for you guys on understanding what a good fitter is and what a bad fitter is. And also, attitude's a big thing as well. Attitude goes a long way. If you're welding for someone who has a great attitude and they're not the best, that's totally okay. They can get better and you can help them. But if you're fitting for someone who has a bad attitude, regardless of their good or a bad fitter, it's miserable and it's not fun. So watch out for the bad fitters and help out the fitters who are trying to get better and help out the fitters who are good and they'll help you in the long run. Now let's get into why it's important to know how to fit as a welder. So at the Kentucky Welding Institute we teach you guys how to fit your own pipe and do your own pipe map. For the first hour of the day, for the first three months at KWI you're going to be learning different industry trainings and certifications as well as pipe fitting and pipe map. Why that's important? because whenever you get on jobs as a welder, just in case if you have to bump down and be a fitter for a little bit until they get an a welding spot open, you can do that. Also, as a welder, if you know how to fit, you can be thinking ahead of what your fitter is doing and you can help them out. Also, if you have a bad fitter, you could be knowing what he's doing wrong and you could maybe help him out or you can know how to fix it if he leaves or, or whatever, so knowing how to do your job, as well as the fitter's job, is going to help you to go a lot farther in the industry faster. Also, um, if you let superintendents know and companies and contractors know, they're going to be like, hey, this guy can fit and weld, and you know he knows how to do both jobs. Now, that doesn't mean um, you know get screwed over and do both jobs and get paid for one. 
Um, you know, you got to work your experience and what you know how to do into your contract. But if you can do both and get paid for both, that's awesome too. Also, knowing how to fit is going to allow you to start your own company if you want to. So you could start your own welding business. I have a buddy, his name's Dylan, and he started his own welding business in his town. And he's like the only one doing it. And he's doing really well because everybody wants him to go weld for them or build stuff at their house or facility because he does good work, he knows how to weld and fit. So he can do it all by himself and make a lot of money. Um, and that's the positives with knowing how to fit pipe as well. And here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, we noticed that and we said, hey, we can't just teach these guys how to weld because everybody else is teaching people how to weld but not teaching them anything else. And as I've talked about in earlier videos, you have to know more than just welding to be really successful in this industry. You have to have a good attitude, you have to know how to rig and signal for cranes, you have to know how to fit and weld, as well as be safe on the job site. So there's a whole plethora of things that you need to know how to do before going into the job industry as a welder. Now, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but the more you know, the easier it's gonna be and the better you're gonna do for yourself in the industry and making money as a welder. So hopefully this video has helped you get an understanding of what a fitter is and an understanding of why it's important for yourself as a welder to know how to fit before you go into the welding industry. You're going to see good fitters, you're going to see bad fitters, and those are going to make you either weld really good or really poor. Also, you need to help your fitters out. That's the most important thing that you can do welding for somebody is understanding what they're getting ready to do and how you can help them out and make their life easier because they're gonna make your life easier in the long run. So that's all I have for you guys today. Stay tuned for our next video. Check out our social media and our Instagram as well as our TikTok and our Facebook page. We have several events coming up throughout the year and coming up August 30th is our Metalworks Expo. For high school students, you just have to get your instructor to go on our website, click the link and register your school to come visit us. So August 30th, our Metalworks Expo. Hit me up if you have any questions. Again, my name's Keegan Dells. You can hit us up on our Instagram page or you can hit me up on my personal page and we can help you get to where you need to be with your life and welding. Stay tuned, thanks.